So we are here at Aventuras El Cebo, which is the glamping location that is here in Terriabla, Costa Rica. So we're going to tell you... <laughs> do it again? Terrialba. Terrialba. See, we're, we're learning Spanish um, in Costa Rica. And so we're going to do a little um, video through the property so you know what it's like to be here. Um, I'm going to start off with the driveway. We are at the end of a, a neighborhood, basically. This is very secluded. And Pablo's family uh, lives in this neighborhood as well as the people that help clean the facility and everything. So it's very secluded, very safe. If you come driving through this neighborhood, they're going to come down here and see what's going on. Um, so it's just really, really neat. We're kind of in the middle of the jungle surrounded by farms. And as you can hear, there's and some birds. wildlife. Yeah, and we're birds. surrounded by birds and lots of them. And the one that is the craziest, so it's right over there. It's called a Montezuma or a Pendola. And it like um, falls over to make that cool sound. And uh, it's got a really pretty uh, yellow tail and these like hanging um, nests that it's just really, really cool. They're really active. Active in the morning. So we've been working um, from home here for the last four days and the birds are just nonstop going off in the background. So, all right, let's take a walk through. Here's basically a large parking area. And then this is the kind of the com communal area it's a big open air facility. It's got some seating, tables for, for eating and stuff. They got cornhole. Um, just a really nice place to kind of hang out, relax, get some work done. You can see we've set up an office here. They have internet. They have very good internet. Well. And then this is the community kitchen area. There's a gas stove, lots of pots and pans and everything, refrigerator, whatever you need to cook while you're here. All right, so before we go down and show you the lodging area, I'm going to show you one of the nests of the birds that are making all the noise. So these are some examples of the nests that are hanging up in the trees. I guess they've fallen down, and so they uh, put them here for display. But that's what the Mata Zumas or a Pendola looks like. So, okay, let's walk back through and go. Yeah, let's go back here and check out the lodging. There's also two bathrooms and a shower here up in the community area. The other thing is they've got just beautiful plants all through this entire um, location. It's basically a big garden. There's been hummingbirds all over the place fighting over these plants. It's just really neat. There's plenty of firewood if you want to set up a little fire. We're here in January and it's been a little bit chilly at night so I could see having a cool campfire. What do we have here? Although we should look at the one down there. This is the one we stayed in, although it's just been cleaned. Um, the cool thing is these tents, they are underneath the cover. So when it's raining, you don't hear it banging on the top of the tent or anything. We had no trouble with bugs at all. They are screened in just in case, raised up off the ground. So we had no problem with any mosquitoes, bugs, ants, or anything while we were here. Speaking of bugs. Isn't that wild? It was kind of wild. Okay. All right. <laughs> Birds of paradise all over. That's what these plants are called. Birds of paradise. So I think there's a total of six or seven of these tents back here. I think, yeah, this, I don't, there's none that are made up right now because they're getting ready to bring in a big group. But I'll just give you an example. Actually, this one is made up. Yeah, look at that. So basically, it is a mattress that's raised up a little bit. The beds are super comfortable and very level and flat. They are open at the top so that plenty of air comes through. And there's some lights and all that kind of stuff. There's towels there if you want to take a shower. Um, yeah, this zips down for privacy. So. Yeah, so you can totally zip it down. Um, so we really liked it. We were skeptical at first. We'd never really done this. And then now I'm ready to stay here the rest of my life. <laughs> <laughs> There's another community area right here. Got some hammocks, a little sink if you need it, and another little place for like a little fire. Kind of a cool place to hang out. This does have power at night if you want to add some light. There's also power there. All right, let's go look at the bathrooms. This is kind of the most fun. How often do you get to 
shower outdoors in the jungle. <laughs> Most of this has been handmade by Pablo's family. So here's like the like little hand wash area until it's all concrete handmade. And I believe Andrea and I have been arguing over this, but we believe that there's this huge rock that they have built this whole facility around. You see the rock in the background? And then here's the shower. There's three shower heads, just open air to the jungle. And they do supply warm water. It's like perfect so, warm too. Yeah, I wouldn't say it's hot, but it's warm. It's really perfect. Because there's only one adjustment. You just turn on that thing and they have an automatic water here. It cuts on within like 30 seconds, you've got warm water. So it doesn't matter if it's 65 out at night or 80 degrees in the day, you're good to go. Just beautiful plants and everything here from the shower. So basically it's the same on the other side for the guys. We'll walk over there and take a look. The two bathrooms and another open air shower on top of this big rock. So I'm imagining this rock got spit out of the volcano and landed here on their property and that they decided to build this facility around it, but we shall see. And I think it's a big pile of leftover concrete that looks like a cool rock. <laughs> we shall find out. We're gonna have to call, phone a friend and see what Pablo says about this. Okay, let's, uh, I guess we'll go right, look at the other cabins. Got a couple stairs going up to it. There are lots of little noises and stuff all through the property. The birds are very active in the mornings. And then at night, it's more insects. But after the first night, you pretty much will get used to it and you'll sleep right through it. Um, or bring earplugs. Or bring earplugs. She brings earplugs. Um, ours, number four, was right up against the fence. So the cows that you saw earlier, the first night, they were like right behind the tent. And so I had this feeling of these large animals like stalking me. Um, <laughs> but after the first night, I slept through it and they, they haven't woke me up since. So, all right, that is your walking tour of Adventurous El Sebo. Definitely highly recommend coming out here and checking it out. We were here middle of January and it was absolutely beautiful. So expect it to be a little bit warmer if you come in the summertime. Anything else? I think that's it. That's it. Okay, off we go.